Hi there, I'm going to explain how to format your uh, running head and your assignment in general in APA. Because you're not just going to be handing in a references sheet, you're going to be handing in a full assignment. So um, my suggestion is uh, go to the Writing and Learning Services website. This is our website. Um, APA paper template. I'm going to want to open that up. So what you're going to get here is you're going to get a pre-formatted document. Let me change the view here. It's going to come in all kinds of sizes. Okay. So my suggestion would be to take this template because it's already pre-formatted. Go to your work. And do that. Um, in this case, let's get rid of that. Um, now you have your references sheet at the end. This is centered, not bolded or anything like that. And in APA, it's kind of weird because we have this running head situation. And keeping in mind that your second page is different from your first page. And so if you want, you can go through the hassle of formatting a different second page and adding the running head yourself, or you can just do this. So keep the running head, get rid of the square brackets, and I'm going to say annotated bibliography, keep the running head, and now keep in mind the second page, I don't know, Feels like annotated bibliography is probably short enough. And then that annotated bibliography there, that should run all the way through. Right. So here, there's a title. Start typing in here, and we'll talk about how to format an annotated bibliography in general because you want to have a reference entry and then a summary and then a reference entry and then a summary. But in this case, you would just start putting in uh, all of your information here. You want to have HRMT 200 with your section. You want to put your instructor's name in there. And honestly, that's what I would do instead of going through all the formatting business around headers. Okay?